Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the differences between my ASCII and my binary file types. Um, so the dip, the difference between the two, um, my ASCII files are editable. So if you look down here, this is kind of an example. If you open up an ASCII file, uh, you can actually go line by line and edit out things um, as needed. Uh, this is generally useful when uh, you potentially run into a corrupt scene. So a scene file won't open um, or a scene file that um, uh, it will crash on trying to open. Uh, you can go in and actually edit out uh, specific lines or um, uh, specific nodes that are being created that are causing these issues. Uh, now this can take um, a significant amount of time trying to find, especially when you have um, 30,000 plus lines. If you have like a massive scene, um, there can be taking like, a really long time trying to find the lines um, and ultimately it could potentially be quicker just to start from scratch rather than wading through each individual line and trying to figure out what is causing the issue. Um, and the alternative is Maya binaries, which are uh, generally quicker to load, uh, faster to save, and the file sizes are significantly smaller. Um, the downside to binary is that uh, you can't actually open it and edit out files or edit out um, uh, lines or anything like that that uh, are potentially causing issues. So as you can see, you can just see kind of this binary, binary format of, um, of numbers uh, versus the MyML ASCII uh, file that you can see over here. So let's take a look at some actual uh, load and save times to get kind of an idea of what we're looking at, okay? So we saved out seven different assets, uh, both as my binary and ASCII, and then each one of them we spent, uh, we timed from, um, we took the time from before we opened it and the time after we opened it and subtracted the two, and that's how we got these um, these times. Uh, this is not including the um, the viewport processing. The viewport was paused when we did this, and then also um, unemplugins were removed, so that wasn't a factor as well. And then we also did the same thing for saving. We took the time um, before we hit the save, then we saved it and took the time after, and this is how long. Um, uh, it took to save those individual files. Uh, so we have seven different files, um, seven different assets from, they're currently listed in uh, order from smallest to largest in terms of file size. Uh, and as you can see, the file size difference between the two different types of assets is basically uh, the binary is half the size of the ASCII, uh, just looking at it uh, briefly, um, but uh, the time to open and time to save is, um, as, as if you have smaller files, it's not really noticeable, the difference between the two. Uh, but as your file size gets larger, um, you can easily see that uh, it just starts exponentially growing in terms of the amount of extra time it takes for the ASCII to open and save as opposed to the, um, the binary. So for instance, if we look at this, uh, this turret down here, the file size is for the binary is 154, uh, while the turret ASCII is 257. So it's not nearly double, but almost double the size as the binary. Uh, the time to open it takes an extra three to four seconds to open up the uh, ASCII as opposed to the binary. But the time to save, uh, if you take a look at that, is that it's six seconds to save the binary file versus almost. 27 seconds, uh, just over 27 seconds to save the turret ASCII file. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty big jump in the amount of time to save. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is just kind of a good overview of all the different assets that we did, but we're going to take a look at a couple uh, specifically um, to give you guys kind of a better idea of what we're looking at. So we're looking at the uh, asteroid asset right now, and you can see in the bottom here, we have the, the file size. So the binary for this, this asset was uh, 0.6 megabytes and the ASCII was 1.3. Uh, the time to open was roughly the same and the time to save was a little bit more as the ASCII, but not uh, significant enough for the artist or you to notice. Um, uh, now, if we start looking at a little bit larger assets, so this one is 50 megabytes to open and 91 uh, to open as an ASCII. Again, almost double the size um, for the ASCII and uh, time to open 
add an additional four seconds uh, to open up this asset as opposed to the, the binary version. Uh, the time to save, there's roughly an additional three seconds to save the file um, if you saved it as an ASCII as opposed to binary. Uh, now looking at a really extreme example is this hangar. So this is a massive environment, with lots of pieces and um, assets uh, involved in it. Uh, and the file size for this was 367 megabytes, uh, while the ASCII was 720. So it's almost a gigabyte uh, in terms of size. Uh, the time to open for the binary was 18 seconds, where the ASCII was 33, so that's an additional 15 seconds to open up the file. Um, that's almost double the time to open the file, uh, if you convert that to 18. Uh, the time to save uh, the binary, just saving this asset, was about 11 seconds or 10 seconds, um, if you look at the different data. And uh, that's specifically for the binary. Uh, the ASCII itself was 34, so it was almost three times longer to uh, to save that out as opposed to just the regular binary. So let's look at some shots, okay? So we have four different scenes that we created. We created one where we had binary assets referencing. We created one with ASCII assets referencing, and we saved out a shot with um, all the assets imported and saved it as a binary, and then we saved uh, another one where all the assets were imported and saved in ASCII. And uh, all the assets that were referenced and saved were the assets from the previous table where we had all seven different assets pulled into one shot and saved that out. Um, so uh, taking a look at the reference files, uh, with a little bit of animation, uh, the, the file size themselves were pretty small. That's because all the file size is currently with the assets because they're referencing in the assets from different font myosines. Um, but looking at the time to open, the time to open the shot with the ASCII assets referenced in as opposed to binary was significantly more. And that's because Maya still has to read those Maya files to reference in those assets. And uh, it will take longer to reference in and read the ASCII assets as opposed to binary. So you can see we have an extra like 34 seconds to open up the shot as opposed to if we saved up saved and referenced all the binary assets um, and the time to save was relatively the same and this is because uh, we're actually just saving the animation and any other changes that are done inside the shot uh, we're not actually saving the assets or anything like that inside the scenes um, so the uh, when we imported all the assets you can see the file size uh, the file size is almost double the size um, as uh, the shot was from comparing the, the binary shot and the ASCII shot. Uh, time to open was also about double the size. So um, in time to open, the ASCII was 70 seconds as opposed to 35. And the time to save was uh, pretty radical. Uh, the, bin the binary was uh, it took about 18 seconds to save that uh, entire 615 megabytes, whereas the ASCII took 67 seconds to save just the ASCII file, the ASCII shot. There are a lot of other factors that affect your speed, and um, there's so many different workflows and, co and combinations of how you can work and how your studio works or how your school works or your project, or your, even if you're on your individual project and how you work. It all affects kind of how you save um, files and uh, whether or not you're using referencing and whether or not you're importing, are you allowed to bring other assets in or how you save out your animation. All that really um, will affect how uh, how quick it is to open and, and, and save your scenes. Uh, but yeah, my, my goal is just kind of give you a brief overview of how long it takes to open my ASCII versus my binary for a one-to-one -one standpoint. Um, but uh, there are a couple other things that affect your scene, which is basically how your scene is constructed and if it's optimized. So if you have a lot of extra nodes just kind of hanging out in your scene, it'll obviously take longer to load and save because it actually has to account for those nodes as well. Um, also saving locally or saving um, on your machine as opposed to on a network. So if you're at a school or something like that, you save on the network or if you're at office and you're working off the network, that'll typically be slower uh, than if you saved locally on your computer. Um, other things that can play a factor is if you save on to a solid state um, or hard disk drive or an external drive, you can also get a varying 
uh, uh, amount of speed coming from those being the solid state would be faster and then there'd probably be the hard disk drive. And then if you save onto an external drive or a thumb drive or flash drive or whatever you want to call it, um, then uh, those will definitely be slower to save and open up files off of. Um, in that in that case, it might be quicker to actually copy it to your local machine from uh, an external drive, and then open it up from your local machine. Uh, your computer's processing power and graphics power um, also plays a factor in how quickly uh, it can open and process the scenes that it's reading, um, and uh, that all has a uh, effect on how long it takes to open up your uh, my files. So the million dollar question is, what should you use? Um, both obviously have their advantages. Uh, ASCII is more recoverable. It kind of provides a more safety net if something were to go wrong and you can't open your scene or your scene is crashing when you're trying to open it. Uh, binary is a, a smaller file size and it's faster to open and save. But something that people don't talk about a lot is that how the longer opening and save times affects the artist. Uh, it can add more stress if there's a supervisor or a fellow artist or a director uh, standing behind them waiting for a scene to open. Um, and then also people will be less likely to use autosave. Um, basically, if you are save, if you have autosave going on every 10, 20, 30 minutes and it takes four or five minutes just to save a, a file, then people will less likely be be using it. And then because of that, because Maya is typically um, crashing a couple times a day, um, uh, people are more prone to lose work if, if um, they're not using autosave. So in general, in my opinion, I think people will be more likely to lose work um, if they use ASCII versus binary, purely because people will be saving less often and they're less likely to use features like autosave because of the frustration in the long periods of saving while they're in the middle of the end. So my preference across the board would be binary. So binary for assets and shots. Um, there is kind of like a middle ground where um, uh, you can use binary for assets. And then when you reference those assets in the shots, you can save the shots out as ASCII. Uh, that's kind of like a, a good middle ground where basically all the heavy lifting um, is saved as a binary being all the assets. So all the animation and anything else kind of done in the shots themselves are saved as ASCII. But because shots don't have the assets actually imported into them, um, they actually are really quick to save because of the, their file size is, is really small in comparison to a typical workflow. I hope this has given you guys a pretty good overview of the differences, uh, the advantages and disadvantages of using my ASCII versus my binary. Um, I will say that Autodesk has released a lot of improvements for my ASCII in terms of loading and saving over the years and in 2020 is significantly better than the earlier versions of uh, Maya and it's significantly faster. So as things go on, um, I'm sure they will continue to improve that speed um, and hopefully it'll uh, potentially one day be on par or, or um, better than binary files and that will make a huge upswing in um, the amount of people that prefer saving out my ASCII as opposed to my binary. Um, and as computers in general get more um, processing power and are get more advanced, uh, scenes will load quicker. So um, all these things are kind of going for uh, my ASCII and looking on the looking positive for my ASCII in the future. So I uh, hope you guys have a great day and hopefully this helped you guys out and push you guys one way or the other um, for using my ASCII or my binary. Have a good day.